Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India everybody welcome to the class are you all ready for more Japanese today well we'll do a lot of things today with the help of what we have done in our previous classes last time we did imas and arimas that is to show existence of living and non-living things so well with the help of that we will do something new in this class and also learn new kanjis and new expressions. So well, first of all, let me tell you about this greeting that I keep using all the time, konnichiwa. This is a simple expression, a simple greeting which means hello in Japanese. It is a daytime greeting around 10 in the morning till 5 or maybe till sunset. You can say konnichiwa to anybody you meet, anywhere you meet. Now before we actually start doing as I had said earlier something new in Japanese, well we will go back to our assignments. You can check your assignments to see what you have done is correct or not. Write the readings of the characters given below in hiragana. Now we have done quite a few things in, in uh, the previous lessons and it is actually very important to learn hiragana as well because this is a new script. We are doing it in Roman over here but it is essential for us to be able to write what we are doing in hiragana and kanji. So well, we have the first one, okane, ooki, shita, jiunin, juichi, mizu, kayobi, gogatsu, and practice this. Then we also did nanin imaska. How many people are present? So, well, look at this picture and see how many people are present over here. How many do you see? Well, two people are present. So, what will the answer be? We just did hitori futari. So, well, nanin imaska. Futari imas. So there are two people over here. But now when you look at this picture, what do you see? There is no one. So what should the answer be? Nanin imas ka? It could be zero people. It could be zero nin imas. Okay? But that is not used at all. There is a better way of saying it, which is dare mo imasen. Now this word question word dare. We have done. Dare is a question word which means who and if you add mo to it, dare mo is equal to no one or nobody. Nobody is present. So, nan nin imasu ka? Dare mo imasen. Nobody is present. Now, as I had promised, we are going to do something new today. We are going to learn new kanjis and also how to ask politely someone to do something for you or to invite people over. So, well, invite them to do something with you. So, well, picnic A, ikimashou. Before that, listen to this radio conversation and let us see how much you have understood and then I will explain. Moshi Moshi. Moshi Moshi. Arun san, konnichiwa, Rao desu. Konnichiwa Rao san, o genki desu ka? O kage sama de genki desu. Arun san, ashita yasumi desu ne. Hai, so desu. Nani o shimasu ka? Nani mo shimasen. Ja, club e gimasen ka? Sore wa ii desu ne. じゃあ明日八時はどうですか？八時は大丈夫です。車で行きますか
いいえ、電車で行きましょう。So, well, did you understand something? Well, I'll read it once for you and explain as well. This is conversation between two people. Futari no kaiwa. Moshi moshi. Moshi moshi. Arun san, konnichiwa. Rao desu. Konnichiwa. Rao san, o genki desu ka? O kage sama de genki desu. Arun san, ashita yasumi desu ne? Hai, so desu. Nani o shimasu ka? Nani mo shimasen. じゃあ、クラブへ行きませんかそれはいいですね。じゃあ、明日8時はどうですか ?8 時は大丈夫です。車で行きますかいいえ、電車で行きましょう。So, a simple conversation between Rao さん and Arun さん。On the phone, もしもし。Arun さん、こんにちは。Of course, you understand. The new phrase is, お元気ですか Well, are you in good health, in good shape? You're keeping well. O kage sama de genki desu. Thank you very much. I'm all right. Arun san, ashita yasumi desu ne? Tomorrow is a holiday. Hai, so desu. Nani o shimasu ka? What are you going to do tomorrow? Nani mo shimasen. Nothing. Ja, kurabe ikimasen ka? Well, let's go to the club. Sore wa ii desu ne? That is really, really nice. That's very good. じゃあ、明日8時はどうですかどうですか is another phrase. How about tomorrow at 8 o'clock? 8時は大丈夫です。大丈夫 is, well, it's all right at 8 o'clock. 車で行きますか Are we going by car? No, let's take the train. So now I'll explain all of this to you in detail. This is in the script. You can see how it is written. And Go through it, learn all the hiragana, how to write the hiragana, and this is the translation of what is there in Roman. This translation is not a literal translation because if you try to translate it, then the meaning changes. So, this is what you would say in English. So, please keep that in mind. Well, now the first word over there was moshi moshi. When you talk To people on phone, you would say hello as moshi moshi. Please remember that is a telephone expression and not hello as in hi, how are you? Moshi moshi, how are you? No, that is not done. Moshi moshi is to be used only on phone for hello. So, well, both of these people can say moshi moshi, moshi moshi, as was there in the conversation. Then We have these two people. If you are talking informally to someone, you just ring up your friend or you ring up someone at home, what would you do? Moshi moshi is, of course, you have just done. Moshi moshi is what you would say first. And then what would you say? Well, I am Arun. Watashi wa Arun desu. Or just Arun desu. As in this conversation over here. And then konnichiwa. And the other person will also tell his name and konnichiwa. Or konnichiwa and name as is given over here. So, this is a very, very informal way of talking on phone. There are situations, there are places where you have to be very formal. For example, if you call your friend at home and you want to know whether your friend is at home or not, or maybe you call your friend in office. And you want to inquire as to your friend is there in office or not, what would you say? How would you inquire? How would you talk on the phone then? Well, there is a different way that is a formal way of talking, and you would say, Moshi moshi, of course, and then Arun to moshimas. Watashi wa Arun desu is what we did last time. Over here, Arun to moshimas, I am Arun. Moshimas is a polite way of Saying I am Arun. And why polite? Because you are talking to someone else and not to a friend on the phone. And then maybe your friend is Mariko or Rao or Neha, whosoever, Tanaka san, anybody. Mariko san, irashai masu ka? Irashai masu is polite for imasu ka? So whenever you are talking formally like this, Inquiring about someone on phone, you would generally say the name of the person and then 
irashai masu ka instead of imasu ka. Imasu ka would be very, very informal. And then the answer would be, well, if the person is Mariko-san whom you want to talk to, Mariko-san would say, konnichiwa Mariko desu. If it is not Mariko-san and someone else, there is a different way of saying which we will do later. Now, you have met Mariko-san, you have said I am Arun, Mariko-san has said I am Mariko and then what should be the next question? What should you ask next or what should you say next? Well, ogenki desu ka? Ogenki desu ka is a phrase as was there in, a, in the conversation also and it means how are you? Literal translation would be are you in good health? So in English it would be how are you? And what is the answer to that? Another phrase over here, okage sama de genki desu. Okage sama de genki desu means, thank you, I am in good health, I am all right. Thank you very much. And you could also ask the same question, Arun san wa o genki desu ka? And Arun san could say, hai, okage sama de genki desu. Now, one thing you will notice over here, which is, when you are asking someone, you say A san wa o genki desu ka and the answer is hai okage sama de okage sama de genki desu and not o genki desu. O genki is to be used for someone and genki is to be used for oneself. O is honorific. So, this O as we did earlier with O namai is going to be used a number of times later. So, please for your family members, for yourself, for friends who are very, very informal with you, generally O is not used and O is used in formal situations and never for oneself. As we did namai, so o namai wa nan desu ka? Watashi no namai wa whatever your name. So please o is not to be used for oneself. Now we just now did o genki desu ka as a phrase inquiring about someone, how are you? Well, there is another, another uh, meaning to o genki desu ka. Actually, you could ask someone, if someone as is in the slide, you can ask someone if they are, they are actually sick or as is given over here, this gentleman is with a plaster. So, o genki desu ka? Are you all right now? How are you feeling now? And the answer could be anything actually over here. Let us see what the answer is. Daijobu desu. Now, this is another phrase. Daijobu desu means I am all right. Just a simple informal I am okay. I am all right now. So, these are some of the usages, different ways of using these phrases, different situations where you can use these phrases. Now, in our previous lessons, we have done the mass form of verbs. If we have done mas, masen, mashita and masen deshita. So, over here, for example, if you say, tabe mas. So, if you say watashi wa tabe mas, it means I eat or I will eat. If you say watashi wa tabe Masen means I will not eat or I do not eat any of these. But now over here I want to use something different. Watashi wa tabemasen. I do not eat or I will not eat. But now I put a ka over here which is a question particle makes this sentence into a question form. 
question statement. Watashi wa tabemasu. Anata wa tabemasen ka? If I use this with a rising intonation, then it has a different meaning. It means, won't you eat this please? Anata wa over here. Something, something could be any noun. Ringo, keiki. Anata wa ringo o tabemasen ka? Won't you eat this apple? Won't you eat an apple? Or anata wa keiki o tabemasen ka? Won't you eat this cake, please? Or as is given over here, issho ni gohan o tabemasen ka? Won't you have food with us? Issho ni Delhi e ikimasen ka? Won't you come with us to Delhi? Remember with masen, if you put this ka with a rising intonation, it has a meaning which is used as a polite invitation and also when you want someone to do something for you, it is a polite way of asking people to do something for you and not a negative. Remember that though the negative is there, but with ka meaning changes completely. So now we will practice this over here. Practice the dialogue with masen ka and different time expressions as is given over here for you. There is a small dialogue, I will just read it out. Ashita yasumi desu, golfo no renchu wo shimasen ka? I desu ne. Ashita gozen kuji wa dou desu ka? Daijoubu desu. So well you can replace ashita over here with any of these time expressions and golf no renchu is practice, renchu is practice, so golf practice. Oshimasen ka, will you please do golf practice tomorrow? Ashita wa yasumi desu, tomorrow is a holiday. So, won't you please do golf practice and with me is understood from the conversation. So, you have tennis, yamanobori, yamanobori is mountain climbing, ryoko is actually tourism or a trip, going on a vacation, then ega is films or movies, yachting is you go sailing somewhere and bijitsukan is a museum. So, well, won't you do these things with me? So, you can replace golf no renshu with any of these over here and ashita with any of these time expressions over here and practice with your partner and answer. Of course, time is also over here, you, you can put different times also and practice. Now, this was how to invite people over, how to ask people to do certain things for you, request people in a polite way to do something for you. Now, as you can see over here and also in the conversation, there was this masho form which was given. This masho form of verb is simple to make. Masho over here, verb in masho form, verb plus masho. Now, how do you make it first thing? We have ikimasu, yomimasu. All you need to do is just remove the mas form from here and put masho instead. Ikimas means go or will go. Yomimas means read or will read. Nomimas means drink or will drink. But the moment you remove mas from here and put masho over here, it means ikimasho means let's go. Yomimasho means let's read. And nomimasho means let's drink. Now, when you say let us do a certain activity. What exactly are you doing? 
well you are actually including yourself in the conversation you are deciding for the person that let us do a certain thing you are not asking the person you are simply deciding let us do whatever the verb says over here ikimashou let's go ginko e ikimashou let's go to the bank so when you say let's go to the bank do you do you actually ask the person shall we go no you just decide for the person and you say just let us go to the go or do whatever the verb is asking us so with masho form you include yourself in the conversation and also decide for the listener whatever the verb is wanting you to do now look at the pictures and say let's do whatever the verb is saying and use masho form look at this picture over here let us see what they are doing they are in the cafeteria so before that cafeteria a ikimashou place a ikimashou then the second one is look at this picture this gentleman is eating so before that gohan o tabemashou gohan is food and gohan is also cooked rice so gohan o tabemashou then the third one is kuruma kuruma de ikimashou so let's go by kuruma now over here you can see we are using three different particles place a iki masho so we are using a something o tabe masho so we are using particle o and something de by means of iki masho so let's use a certain means of transport and go somewhere so we are using three different particles and you can practice all these with your partner using different different verbs different nouns with these particles now over here you can ask your friend doko e ikimasu ka or doko e ikimashou ka both can be used in the first one you are asking the person where should we go and in the second one you ask doko e ikimashou ka where shall we go the answer could be so this ne or so ne as is given over here depato e ikimashou so any place e ikimashou over here the place names are given bijutsu kan art museum tenrankai exhibition bowling bowling places you have where you can go and practice bowling and then pool pool is swimming pool then you have yakyu no renshu yakyu is baseball practice baseball cafeteria of course you all know so you can go to any of these places you have to use particle a and iki masho with particle a so doko e ikimasu ka or doko e ikimashou ka bijutsu kan e ikimashou tenran kai e ikimashou boring e ikimashou and so on so you can practice this small conversation with your friends now we did particle ne also in the conversation particle ne now particle ne like particle ka always comes in the end at the end of a sentence it's a sentence ending particle with ka you are asking a question actually you are asking a direct question but with ne there is a slight difference it is confirmation of what you are saying so you want the listener to confirm to what you are saying you already know what you are saying is correct you have knowledge of what you are saying you just want your listener your partner to confirm to what you are saying so thus it is used in the end 
over here it means right don't you agree isn't it in english it is quite similar to that so well anata wa gakusei desu ne so i already know that you are a student i'm only confirming as is given over here anata wa gakusei desu ne aren't you a student with a rising intonation tanaka san no kuruma desu ne so i have a faint idea that it is your car i know that it is your car i have some knowledge of it and thus i am putting ne over here if i have no knowledge of it then i would say ka tanaka san no kuruma desu ka and it would be a direct question so with ne you can with a rising intonation you can ask and confirm from your partner about what you are saying now listen to this radio conversation ashita kara shuchyo desu ka hai so desu doko e ikimasu ka mumbai e ikimasu itsu modorimasu ka raigeks no muika desu a watashi wa muika ni kuni e kaerimasu so shite 5 gatsu no 2 tsuka ni modorimasu a so well most of it is understood i'll just read it out rao san and amit san ashita kara shuchyo desu ka hai so desu doko e ikimasu ka mumbai e ikimasu itsu modorimasu ka raigetsu no muika desu ah watashi wa muika ni kuni e kaerimasu so shite 5 gatsu no 2 tsuka ni modorimasu ah so so just a simple conversation between two people and over here we have a new word which is kara we have done kara earlier hachiji kara kuji made shichiji kara juji made for time over here it is for time expressions ashita kara from tomorrow so with time expressions also you can use kara and then hai so des doko e ikimasu ka where are you going mumbai e ikimasu itsu modorimasu ka itsu means when we have done this itsu earlier and modorimasu is a new word which means to return so you go out somewhere you're staying somewhere you just go out somewhere for a short while and then come back is modorimasu ka raigetsu no muika desu 6th of next month ah watashi wa muika ni kuni e kaerimasu well i'm returning to my country or to my home on the 6th of next month So shite gogatsu no futsuka ni modorimasu and I will be returning on the 2nd of May. Over here the new word is so shite which means and it's a conjunction but surprisingly it's a little different from the English and in English and joins two sentences without a full stop but in Japanese the conjunction begins a sentence as you can see over here after a full stop a new sentence is using soshite as the first word even though it joins two sentences so well with soshite we have sentence 1 full stop soshite sentence 2 and like the english and you can see in the example over here kyo gakko e ikimashita soshite sensei ni aimashita i went to school today and met the teacher and over here you can see soshite is starting a sentence in a similar manner kino wa asa tennis no renshi o shimashita soshite go cricket o shimashita yesterday i practiced tennis in the morning and then played cricket in the afternoon so well you can see the difference in soshite and 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 this is again in the script you can practice your kanji characters some new kanjis are there and now as we always do we'll do kanji i've been telling you a lot about kanji all these in these previous lessons and also i have talked once about the book that i was using well there's another book that i'm using over here for kanji which is a very good book and you could all refer to that book sometime the book is called kanji and kana a handbook and dictionary of the japanese writing systems by wolfgang 
Hadamitsky and Mark Spahn. And this is a very good book. It has about 1900 kanji characters with stroke order with meaning with new words and I am using this book. You could, you could also use this. You know the name of the book now. You could look it up and actually refer to this book for any, any detail on kanji. It is a very detailed book and gives lot of information. Now, we have some new, new kanji words for you over here. These words you have just done in this class. One is ashta. If you remember, we did this kanji character nichi and we also did this kanji character ski. So, nichi and ski together make one character and again nichi over here make it ashta. So, please ashita. Now, there is a reason for doing this. There are certain words which you should remember as words only and not just as simple kanji characters. They are written together, done together and easy to recognize. So, these are some words over here. You have also done ima means now and nichi again, ima nichi now meaning today. This is he day, ima means now, now day today. Today is kyo, today. Then we have kino, there is another word given over here. Again nichi over here together and nichi again means kino yesterday. So, these are three characters which you must know ashita, kyo, kino or kino, kyo, ashita. These are given over here tomorrow, today and yesterday. Now, we have some simple kanji for you. When you look at this character, what does it remind you of? Can you guess? This character is this over here. This means kuchi. Kuchi means mouth, lines like this in lines and it will come like this 1, 2 and 3. So, it is a 3 stroke character kuchi as is given over here. Mouth and then we have simple kanji me. Me is eyes as you can see and if you look at eyes, it is like this. So, well, just turn it and try to show it in lines and this is how it is going to come, me. So, when you look at this character, it will always remind you of eyes like this. Okay. These are some of the simpler kanjis which you can visualize, but they do become very difficult also and difficult to understand sometimes. Well, now if you look at this slide over here, kuchi, you can see and this is the stroke order of the character. So, you have 1, you have 2 and then you join it like this and all your kanji characters should end in the lower right corner of the block always. It is easy to go to the next character after that. And then we have me as I told you just now, just turn it and you will get me. Now, the stroke order is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then you have the last line which is 5. So, this is how me is to be done. Now, from today, we will also do hiragana as that is also very, very important and integral part of the language. So, I will try to first draw the hiragana characters for you, make them over here for you and then we will do it on the slide. A. Ah. E. U. A. 
So, please try to make them at home. The stroke order is given over here. You can look at the stroke order and draw it in exactly this manner. There will be times when maybe my stroke order is not as it should be. So, I do not want you to learn it the wrong way. Please look at the stroke order and learn it as it is given over here. Uh, E U A O. So, the stroke order is very clearly given. Please practice in this manner at home. A, E, U, A and O. Then there are some words with kanji characters. You can use them in your conversation. You can use to make sentences. Jinko, Iriguchi. The meanings are given over here. You can go through the meanings. Deguchi. Hitome, Akarui, Imagoro, Kotoshi, Kongetsu, Suitachi. So, these are some new kanji characters, words you have already done most of them, but the kanjis are new, so you can remember those. This is vocabulary in the lesson. Yamanobori and the meanings are given here. Yamanobori, Ryoko, Eiga, Natsu Yasumi, Yotting, Shumatsu, Bijutsukan, Boring, pool, modorimas, renshu. And now, of course, your work begins. You have to do all this at home. Whatever you have done today, you need to practice with your uh, partner or practice loudly at home so that you can remember and not forget what we have done. Then we have a small radio conversation. Listen to the radio conversation. Arun san, mai nichi nanjikan benkyo shimasu ka? So desu ne. Asa rokuji kara kuji made desu. Ban wa benkyo shimasen ka? Iie, goji kara hachiji made shimasu. So desu ka. Ja mai nichi rokuji kan benkyo shimasu ne. So desu. Listen to the conversation and answer the questions given here. Now, there is another assignment which is basically kanji characters are given over here and you have to choose the correct reading for the kanji characters. And match the kanji characters in column A with readings in column B which I am sure you are used to by now and do it properly and whatever, whatever you are unable to do, well we will try to do it in our next lesson, next time. Till then, mata aimashou. You can use this phrase after you finish class to anyone, to the students. You can also, you can also use this phrase when you are parting in office if you are going to meet the person tomorrow or uh, you can also say that to a friend anywhere you are going to meet the person after a while. Mata aimashou. Let us meet later some time. That is what it means. So, well mina san, mata aimashou, arigato. Thank you very much.